this is the flower right in flower this part is basically called petals so what are the petals petals are accessory uh, sexual uh, organs these are the petals these these blue gray structures they are petals uh, their function is meant for the pollination basically they attract the uh, uh, insect for the pollination so they are helping a helping hand of the reproduction part right so they are accessory organ accessory means which are which are not um, uh, which are not crucial which are not uh, like uh, mandatory but yes they do help right so petals are the accessory part right and they help in pollination i have written over here right next uh, this this green color part the color part basically this protect the entire bud uh, entire flower at the bud stage right so these are called sepals sepals they protect the flower at the bud stage so they are also accessory reproductive part next if we are talking about these are the basically rest two part are the basically uh, sexual reproductive part right so this part this this part is called carpel carpel this is female part this part this part which is visible to your screen this is called carpel carpel is basically female part we technically this is called gynoecium and this is the symbol of carpel or the female reproductive part carpel have been divided in three part this upper topmost part is called stigma this long long neck like part this is called style and the lower part called ovary inside the ovary there is some uh, uh, inside the ovary there is uh, this structure this is called ovule inside the ovule egg is present inside ovule egg is present right and this egg is right this egg is female basically the female uh reproductive cell right so inside the uh, this ovule the egg is present in 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 future this ovule is going to be converted into a what it is going to be converted into just a minute am i audible to all of you properly yes sir okay right so uh, now come to the male part right now the male reproductive part this part is called male reproductive part this part right this part basically these is the, these are called male reproductive part they are basically called what stamen right the symbol of stamen is this this arrow kind of this uh, this uh, shield and arrow right and technically this is called androecium and uh, this this stamen have two part this upper most part is called this upper swollen part this is called anther and these long long stick like part they are called filament basically the anther are a pouch like structure inside anther there are some cells which are called pollen they are basically male male reproductive cells they are found inside that right so this is the structure of the flower you can take the what you can take the screenshot of this one right one more thing which is uh, which i have uh, written over here you can write it down take the screenshot and you can write it down after that look the reproductive organs which are they are the anther and ovary are reproductive part right accessory reproductive part they are sepals and petals right and uh, look flowers are of two type what unisexual and bisexual bisexual plant are those which have both of the reproductive organ what it is in the same flower there will be stamen there will be carpel both of the part will be present over there unisexual flower are those where male flower are different male flower will have only stamen and female flower will have only carpel this kind of the these kind of the flowers are found in papaya right and bisexual flower mostly the flowers are bisexual right so the male flowers are called staminode right and female flowers are called pistillate right please note it down quickly and in case if you have any doubt please ask me top is a sexual reproduction in flowering plant
is it done or you are writing it are you taking a screenshot or writing it yeah written written okay fine so what do you have to write down i'll tell you each and everything like uh, first i think we have started the sexual reproduction yes i have told you the definition of sexual reproduction please check quickly martin did i explain it yes, sir the line last class definition of sexual reproduction i think so yeah i told okay fine so sexual in sexual reproduction in flying plant please start writing down the plants in which the plant basically the flowering plant are called angiosperms angio means covered and sperm means seed right so flowering plants are basically angiosperms the plant in which sex organs are carried the plants in which sex organs are carried within the flowers and the plants in which so which the sex organs are carried sex organs are carried within the flower and seeds are enclosed and seeds are enclosed in a fruit seeds are enclosed in a fruit are called are called angiosperm for sake of your knowledge i want to tell you that all plant which gives flower and fruit are called angiosperm right basically the meaning of angiosperm angio means naked uh, sorry angio means covered and sperm means seed so seed remains covered like you must have seen that the mango mango uh, the seed of the mango remains covered in hard part that that we throw throw away right and uh, that is the first covering and outside of that hard part there is a uh, the uh, that mesoderm which we eat right that that fleshy part and outside that there is a green cover covering so there are very hard covering right so there are three layer before, uh, outside of the uh, seed so uh, all the plants where the seeds are covered are protected they are called angiosperms right so but for the uh, sake of knowledge you can you can uh, take it in this way right uh, all the plant which give us flower and fruit they are called angiosperms simple next point the sex organ the sex organ of plant the sex organ of plant are in flowers are in flowers right now uh, the step of sexual reproduction like let me let me let me and before going to that just a minute i want to tell you some some few few uh, terms like uh, i'll explain what is the receptacle right uh, what is the sepals what are the petals what are the carpels what are the this one right so you can put the heading the uh, parts of flower parts of flower so first part this one receptacle right receptacle is that part on which all the sexual uh, accessory organs and sexual parts remain placed right this is the platform where sepals is present petal is present uh, this uh, carpel is present this stamens are present right this receptacle is also called thalamus t h a t h a l a m u s right thalamus so please start writing down first point parts of, out of the part of the flower first point receptacle or thalamus start writing down the base of flower 
the base of flower in which in which all parts the base of flower in which all parts of flower all parts of flower are attached all parts of flower are attached is called is called receptacle is called receptacle or thalamus next point b sepals the green leaf like part the green leaf like part in outermost the green leaf like part the green leaf like part in outermost circle of flower outermost circle of flower are called sepals full stop now all the sepals means if they have 2 3 4 5 5 all the sepals right when we collect all the sepals so collectively all the sepals are known as calyx c a l y x right so all the sepals are collectively known as calyx right please note it not it down all the sepals all the sepals taken together all the sepals taken together are called are called calyx Identity. All the sepals taken together are called calyx. Next point. Petals. C. Next subheading is C. Petals. Called what? Called. Called calyx. I have written over here. Look, this one above this shelf. Calyx. C A L Y X calyx, right? So all the sepals collectively they are called calyx. Next, petal. The colorful part of flower. The colorful part of flower. are called petals full stop they help in they help in pollination full stop all petals all petals taken together all petals taken together called corolla c o r o l l a all petals taken together called corolla full stop next all petals taken together are car are called corolla c o r o l l a called corolla right next heading is stamen next heading is stamen uh now you can understand uh in next diagram this one 
I have made diagram over here. Look, how does the things take place and what happens? Look, uh, out of these reproductive part, so reproductive part, there are male reproductive part that is called stamen or in technically this is called androsium, right? This, this part is called filament and upper part called anther. Inside anther, I have already told you, this is a, a pouch-like structure inside anther. There are some small ball-like structure or ball-like cells, or, uh, spherical cells. They are called pollen grain, right? And the lower part is called female. Female part is called carpel, right? Carpel, that is gynosium, right? This lower part, this part, the, in this part, the upper part is called stigma, style, and lower part is called ovary, and this part is called ovule, right? This part is called ovule. We have already discussed. What happened basically the pollen grain, uh, how does the reproduction take place? So the male, like sperm like in the in place of sperm, like sperms are found in animals, but in place of sperm, these pollen grains are found. They are the sex cells in flower, right? And in place of egg, that is of this ovule, right? Inside ovule, there is an egg. What happens? This pollen grain, they they spread, they they flow in the air, they uh, float in the air, they reach in the stigma. Then they reaches to the style, then they reaches to the ovule, and they meet with the ovule. And after that, this pol this uh, this pollen cell and ovule meet, and they fertilize, and that is called the sexual reproduction in flowering plant. That's how the sexual reproduction takes place. And after the sexual reproduction from the ovule, ovule get converted into seed, basically, right? So seed is the end product of the word sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So please take this screenshot or make this diagram, this one, this diagram which is visible in your screen, reproductive organ. Quick. Taking a screenshot or making the diagram? Please also tell me that, this one. Writing down, Martin? Ayman? Yes, sir. Okay, please write it down. And let me know when you write it down. Then I'll explain you this stamen and uh, this one. Carpel.
डन मार्टिन आयमा ओके सो प्लीज स्टार्ट राइटिंग नाउन फर्स्ट पेटल सॉरी स्टेमिन थर्ड आई थिंक इट्स इट्स फोर्थ वन या पेटल सॉरी stamen not petals petals i have told you sepals petals i have told you thalamus i have told you yes uh, for uh, the fourth heading will be stamen the little stalk with a solen top the little stalk with a solen top The little stalk with the solen top. The little just a minute. The little stalk with the solen top just inside. Just inside. ring of petal just inside just inside the ring of petals in flower in flower are called in flower are called are called stamen full stop stamen is stamen is the part stamen is stamen is the part where pollen grains are produced pollen pollen grains are produced full stop the stamen is the stamen is made up of two part stamen is made up of two part stamen is made up of two part filament and anther filament and anther filament and anther full stop the anther the anther make and store the anther make and store the pollen grain anther make and store the pollen grain right so this was the male stamen part and the next one is the carpel carpel is that is called gynoecium you have already read, 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 written it down right and the gynoecium or carpel it have the three part sty stigma style and ovary right and inside ovary there will be ovule right so please start writing down put the, put the fifth heading fifth sub heading that is a carpel right i write out the carpel i am dictating it because uh, this is the important this uh, uh, there there are fair enough chances that you can be asked with a two mark or three marker question to draw the well labeled diagram of the uh, stamen or the male reproductive part or the female reproductive part and you have to explain that right that's why i am dictating it next the carpel in the center of flower in the center of flower
there is flask shaped organ in the center of flower there is flask shaped organ called carpel full stop carpel is female reproductive organ carpel is female reproductive organ of the plant carpel is female reproductive organ of the plant full stop carpel is carpel is made up of three part carpel is made up of three part style stigma and ovary style stigma and ovary full stop the stigma is meant to the stigma is meant to receive pollen grain stigma is meant to receive pollen grain from anther full stop it is sticky it is sticky so that it is sticky so that pollen grain is stuck on it full stop middle part middle part is called stamen middle part is called stamen middle part sorry middle part of stamen is called style middle part of stamen is called i'm sorry middle part of carpel sorry middle part of carpel is called style which is a tube like structure which is a tube like structure connect with ovary full stop the swollen part of carpel the swollen part of carpel the swollen part of carpel is called ovary full stop ovary makes ovule and store them ovary make ovule and store them full stop ovule contain ovule contain female ovule contain female gamete 
sperms and egg are called gamete actually ovule contain female gamete or sex cell which is egg which is egg now tell me is it clear or not please i want uh, the query from one of you is it 100% clear i am un clear i am i am un hamna please tell me is it clear to both of you yes sir very good very good good so the next part which is just let me see what is the next so what i need to tell you given okay fertilization i have given so uh, next look uh, in your ncrt what is the, the part which is given that is the fertilization directly but i'll tell you uh, like briefly i'll tell you what is the pollination part and after that uh, what is the uh, how does the this part, this take place how does this uh, uh, fertilization take place right so the next part which you need to understand uh, the pollination right pollen pressure and production In just a minute. Let me tell you what is the pollination actually, and what is double fertilization? How does it take place? pollination is not here just a minute pollination <clears throat> Just met, give me just a minute. I'll tell you what is the pollination.
Okay, let me show you what is the pollination. Uh, this is the PPT. So just searching a PPT. First, let me show what is the. Look, this is the pollination. Means transfer. You must have relation this term, and you must be aware with this term. Look, this is the pollination part, right? How does the pollination takes place? Look, and this is the pollination part. How does the pollination takes place? Look, uh, the pollination can take place with the help of insect. So transfer of pollen is just simple, very simple. These are the pollen grains. Pollen grains are found in this part. And I have already told you that this swollen kind of the part where the pollen grains are found, these part. So these part are called anther, right? So inside anther. inside enter so the, the these inside the enter these are the enters and inside their enter these are structure these cells are called pollen they either transfer with the help of insect or they transfer through the wind right there may be various methods right so pollination can takes place mostly it takes place through the wind wind right and through the insect through the wind right through insect right it can take place through insect it can take place through wind it can take place through bat right pollination can be take place through water there may be various means through which the pollination takes place these pollen grain they land on the stigma of the flower right when they land on the stigma of the flower right what happened they fell down over here after that they start germinating right germination takes place right and this this structure the formation of this structure takes place this part which after the germination this part which grew from the pollen grain this is called pollen tube pollen tube right and fertilization takes place through pollen tube right so this was for this part is called pollination is it clear pollination is clear so yes, put the heading pollination put the heading pollination One more thing, look, if uh, if the pollen grain, if the pollen grain of this, this pollen grain, so this pollen grain, if this pollen grain fall on the stigma of its own stigma, this is called self-pollination. One more thing, self-pollination. If pollen grain of same flower fall on stigma of same flower, this is called self-pollination. If pollen grain of one flower, like this one, if pollen grain of one flower transfer to the stigma of another flower, this is called cross pollination. So please take this screenshot and start writing. Is it clear? Clear to all of you? Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. Please start writing now. Take this screenshot and start writing. Pollination. The transfer of pollen, the transfer of pollen. The transfer of pollen grain from anther of anther of stamen to to stigma of to stigma of stigma of a carpel stigma of a carpel is called pollination is called pollination
right the pollination the pollination may takes place the pollination may takes place through insect wind insect wind bird birds and bat full stop next point in the same other same heading pollination when the pollen grain from when the pollen grain from anther of a flower when pollen grain from anther of flower anther of flower are transferred to are transferred to stigma of are transferred to stigma of same flower stigma of same flower this is called this is called self pollination this is called self pollination full stop next point when pollen grain when pollen grain from anther of a flower when pollen grain from anther of a flower on one plant on one plant are transferred to are transferred to stigma of stigma of stigma of flower of another another similar plant flower of another similar plant it is called cross pollination cross pollination now next heading is fertilization right now i want to tell you what is the fertilization how does the fertilization takes place how does zygote formation takes place right so next part put the heading next part fertilization fertilization
look this is fertilization right so that's how the fertilization takes place in the pollination we have understood right already understood now let me tell you what is the fertilization uh during the fertilization i have already told you that this these are the normal st structure they are called the pollen grain right what happened these pollen grain these these pollen grain these pollen grain they start germinating so they start germinating so when germination right so when germination start what happen uh, they start germinating so formation of these kind of the structure takes place they are called pollen tube right pollen tube this pollen tube it is already written this pollen tube start growing uh they reaches this pollen tube reaches inside this this structure is called actually ovule right this complete structure this is called ovule right inside this pollen tube there are two sperms right two sperm formation of two sperm takes place inside pollen tube so these two sperm start traveling right these two sperm they reaches through the pollen tube pollen tube reaches here so this structure is called ovule inside ovule there is there is egg right this egg cell so one of the sperm it fuses with the egg cell right and there are basically three antipodal cell right uh two synergid cell one egg cell right and two polar nuclei right so inside this inside this embryo sac right inside this complete ovule there are these kind of the structure one of the uh, this one one of the sperm fuses with uh, egg right and another sperm as i have told you fuses with polar nuclei right so sperm when sperm this sperm fuses with egg so after fusion with the egg it make zygote right this is structure is called zygote clear egg is haploid cell means there is a single chromosome set a sperm is haploid there is single chromosome but zygote have two pair of cro chromosome right and another so this was the one fertilization like right? one fertilization that's why we call that in angiosperm not only fertilization takes place double fertilization takes place because fertilization takes place at two places second second sperm where goes the second sperm again the second sperm it is also haploid means one set of chromosome it fuses with the polar nuclei polar nuclei right polar nuclei are already there are n plus n not 2n there are n plus n right the when they fuse a sperm fuses with polar polar nuclei they make endosperm endo sperm right endosperm they are this is triploid because there are three set of the chromosome right that's why the fertilization takes place in in angiosperm fertilization takes place at two places that's why we call this double fertilization right so in angiosperm the fertilization what kind of the fertilization takes place this is double fertilization takes place right double fertilization tell me guys is it clear or not from zygote formation of uh, the formation of seed takes place from zygote right so look you eat apple like uh, leave the apple you eat the um, um, like uh, what to say what kind of example should i take i just uh, uh, look uh, the apple the what the, the apple part we you eat you eat that is the ovary the part you eat that is the ovary right so ovary part you eat right inside the seed they are basically made up of egg right egg plus sperm clear yes sir okay please take the screenshot of this diagram and start writing now
Then answer. Done. Okay. Right. So put the heading fertilization. After pollen falls on a stigma. After pollen fall on a stigma. Next step is pollen fall on a stigma. Next step is fertilization. Next step is fertilization. Full stop. Fertilization occur. Fertilization occur when fertilization occur when male gamete present in pollen grain male gamete in bracket you can write it down as sperm male gamete in bracket sperm present in pollen grain fuse with fuse with female gamete or egg fuse with female gamete or fuse with female gamete fuse with female gamete or egg full stop next point when pollen grain when pollen grain fall on a stigma when pollen grain fall on a stigma of carpel it burst and grow it burst and grow a pollen tube downward it burst and grow a pollen tube downward through the style towards ovary full stop next point the tip of the tip of pollen tube the tip of pollen tube burst and male gamete comes out of and male gamete comes out of pollen tube full stop the male gamete the male gamete in bracket is sperm combined with female gamete in bracket egg and formation of and formation of zygote and formation of zygote takes place formation of zygote takes place one last thing the fertilize zygote the fertilize zygote 
forms embryo which remains covered which remains covered in seed next point the ovary of flower the ovary of flower develops into develops into fruit full stop so this was the reproduction in flowering plant is it clear or not please tell me tell me and if you have any doubt please ask me no sir okay now the next part is sexual reproduction in animals so what is that let me check with the ncert uh, reproduction in human being actually this is reproduction in human being so put the heading reproduction in human being so what is that that is a male reproductive system female reproductive system so reproduction in human being put the adding reproduction in few human being now let me tell you what is how does the reproduction in human being takes place look in human reproduction try to understand in this way uh the primary sex organs which are the primary sex organs they are basically called gonads right we call them gonads right primary sex what are the primary sex organs formation of uh, the uh, sperm and egg takes place in primary sex organ so basically primary sex organs are called gonads right in male these are the testis and in female these are the ovary formation of sperm takes place from the testis and egg takes place in the ovary right and the egg is called female gamete please write it down female gamete and sperm is called male gamete and uh, what are the secondary sex organ reproductive or genital tract or gland right the glands we have the reproductive tract we have they are called secondary sex organ they do not produce any kind of the any kind of the gametes right okay when you write it down please let it let me know done you write this
written or not primary sex organs secondary sex organs So, what is accessory sex organ written there? Sorry, what is it? What is written there? Accessory sex organ. Do you want to know that? No, like I can't read it. Like, uh, secondary sex organ. Look. No, no, accessory. Accessory. This one, this one. Accessory. Yeah, accessory. Accessory. A double C E double S. Actually, this is not. No, no, no. The no the other one. The sentence. The distinguish the two sexes clearly male and female look how you can uh, how you know that this is the male and female uh, like suppose that somebody called you right you by merely by the calling 99.99 percent .99 you can judge that the male is the female right through the voice so there is a difference in the voice of the male and female that is the secondary that is the accessory sexual right so uh, that is that, that you can distinguish a male and female with the help of the males have beard females do not have beard so this beard is secondary uh, accessory sexual Got it. They have nothing to do with the role with the sex. They have nothing to do with the role with the reproduction. But you can discriminate between the male and female with the help of these structures, these organs, right? They are called accessory sex roles, like beard. Got it? Beard and mustache. They are the accessory sex roles. Yeah. 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 Written? Yeah. Written? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now put the heading male, male sex organ. The male reproductive system, sorry, the male reproductive system. Now, this is basically male reproductive system, right? This is basically the male reproductive system. Uh, in male reproductive system, look, uh, basically this is the testis. Testis is uh, the primary sex organ. Inside the testis, you can understand, uh, you can uh, uh, see that I have made this form over here. Uh, there is a one more structure called epididymis. This is the upper part of the testis. So formation of sperm takes place in testis. These sperm reaches in the testis and get stored temporarily. So they get mature over here in epididymis. From here, there is a tube. You can understand this tube is called vas difference. This vas difference tube take the sperm to this tube, right? This is the vas difference tube. And here is one more structure. You can you can see that there is a uh, this one. Seminal vesicle, right? Seminal vesicle, they add on some substance. Store do not take it, do not store the sperm basically. It add on, uh, the sperm is thus just the cells. It add on some liquid part, some gel like part over here, right? Seminal vesicle. Again, there is one more gland you can notice that this is bulbo urethral gland. Before sperm come over here, right? Before sperm come over here, it, it uh, uh, secrete the, this is also called copper's gland. It secretes some basic substance. Why basic substance? Because the uh, the the pipe through which urine pass, the pipe through which uh, sperm pass, this is the same pipe. Like the urine is acidic substance, right? If urine uh, urine will remain the part of the urine or traces of the urine will be over there, this will be acidic. This will kill the sperm. 
So before sperm pass through this tube, the secretion of bulbourethral gland or copper's gland, which secretes some basic substance, it make the tube basic. So basically the semen part is basic, right? So sperm reaches over here, then seminal vesicle uh, add on some fluid. There is one more gland called prostate gland. It also add on some fluid. These both gland add on some fluid and formation of semen takes place, right? Sperm get mixed with the uh, secretion of seminal cycle as well as prostate gland and formation of semen takes place. And uh, during the intercourse, semen come out through the same, this pipeline, which is called urethra. And urethra is also the same pipe through which urine passes out, right? Uh, clear? So this is the male reproductive system. Is it clear or not? Please tell me. Yes. One more important thing. Uh, human uh, uh, testis, they keep on suspended or they remains outside of the body. What is the reason behind it? Do you know? Because like the temperature should be low. So right, right, right. Because at the body temperature, formation of sperm do not take place. Sperm will die, right? So it yes, what it do? It lowers down the temperature of the uh, testis so that sperm do not die, right? So basically, 2 to... 2 to 2.5 degree centigrade temperature uh, is uh, uh, less in the scrotum, right, uh, of the testis, so that sperm do not die. So function of scrotum is this pouch, the pouch uh, in which uh, the testis remains suspended. This pouch is uh, a thermoregulator, right? It maintains the temperature of testis so that sperm do not die, right? Take this screenshot. Start writing now. The human reproductive system consists of the human reproductive system consists of following consists of following organ. That is testis, testis, comma, scrotum, comma, was difference, was difference, comma. Seminal vesicle, seminal vesicle, comma, prostrate gland, and penis, and penis. Next point. A man have Two testes. A man have two testes, which are primary sex organ in male, which are primary sex organ in males. Full stop. The function of the function of testis to make the function of testis to make the sex cells called sperm. Full stop. Next point. The testis of man lie in the testis of man lie in a small a small muscular pouch 
a small muscular pouch called scrotum full stop being outside being outside of body being outside of body the temperature of a scrotum the temperature of a scrotum is about 2.5 degree centigrade 2.5 degree centigrade lower than body temperature next point the sperms formed in testes the sperm formed in testes are temporarily the sperm formed in testes are temporarily stored in epididymis full stop they are carried through was difference full stop seminal vesicle and prostate gland seminal vesicle and prostate gland add a liquid which gives nutrition and help in transport help in transport of his pump full stop last point the penis pass passes a sperm the penis passes a sperm from men's body the penis passes a sperm from men's body to vagina of women's body for reproduction full stop put the heading female reproductive structure that we will discuss in next class right else you will get bored right but uh, i 